Come guys, in this video we will see how to set up React.js in PC. So to set up React.js we need to download Node.js and NPM. Now NPM come with Node.js. So we need to go to this link and download Node.js. I will show you that in browser also but first let me show you what else we need. So second we will need uh, a code editor. So for code editor you can choose anyone if you like like Sublime or Atom. But in our course I will use Visual Studio Code so you can download that also if you are a beginner. So just go to this link and download Visual Studio Code. So let me show you that in browser. So go to the Chrome and search for Node.js. Now first link what that come in the in the search engine like this is Node.js.org. Just click on click here. Now it's automatically detect the system like download for window because I'm using window but if you are using something else you can also change that, that like go to other downloads and choose your operating system and download uh, that like how much bit your operating system is have like your PC have. Uh, one more thing like always download this LTS because this current may have some bugs so if you are a beginner don't download this current uh, person always download this LT LTS LTS means long term support okay so whatever the version is like right now it's 14.17.0 uh, whatever the version is just download the LTS now second thing we need is a core editor so for core editor also search for VS code and the first one here is we just go to this link and again download for window if you are something other platform just go to the other platform and download for your operating system okay now third thing is not important but I will recommend you to download is git bash. So just search for git bash and go to this first link git.scm.com and download for your operating system. Okay so for me it's windows so I will click on window and download will start automatically. Now after downloading all these three uh, go to folder where you want to create the uh, this uh, project. So I will like if you have not downloaded git pass you need to open cmd command promote from this search engine just type cmd okay command promote or else if you have downloaded a git bash just right click here like i want to uh, do all my project in this react js so i will right click here and click uh, this like click on this git bash here okay so next is uh, to check uh, if all these things uh, have installed perfectly in our system or not. Okay, so to check this, we what we will do is we will type node slash v. So if some version is coming here, yeah, we are fine. It doesn't matter. It's 15.3.0. If something is coming for you, it's fine. Okay. Same, you can check for npm also, but it will work if it, if it's coming for node, it will come for npm also. Yeah, so okay, for, like it doesn't matter whatever version it's here. If you if you are getting any version, it's fine. Okay, now third thing is we need to install React in our system. Okay, so to install, uh, it doesn't matter wherever you are, wherever you are. Suppose I'm opening CMD for this, uh, on remote, and right now I'm in C folder. Okay, it doesn't matter because we will install that create React app, uh, React app globally. So how to install that is we need to type this npm install slash g uh, slash g means globally and install create react. So this npm npm means node package manager. We are installing any we can install anything we using this npm. There are so many packages there. So we, we are installing create react app package here. Okay. And we are installing it globally. That means g and I will I will type npm install create react app means it will install in that folder only but when when we enter like slash g it mean it will install that globally so just copy this and paste wherever what if you are in command promote paste it here or if you are in git paste paste it there and run it it will take some time okay so i'm, go I'm going to run this uh, npm install slash c create react app it will take some time depending on my internet speed so let's see Okay, so if for me it's installed very fast. Now to check if it's installed properly or not, again we will check it by using this command like uh, where is create react app slash slash version. Okay, so just I will just copy this and enter here. 
so this is giving me a version 4.0.3 it's fine if you are getting some another version i already told you now let me show you i have installed this here in this folder but it will show me in different folder also so how so let me show you that so i will check this here if it uh, install in this place or not so i will check for the version and yes it is installed now next part is we will create a app so now installation part is done we have installed node.js we have installed vs code we have installed git bash that is optional uh, like for react.js we just need node.js and create react app that's it uh, this vs code and git bash for make our code life easy we are installing that too for that only okay so after installing these four we are now good to create our first react app so to create the first react app what we need to do is we need to uh, write create react app like we just install this create react app now we will call this create react app then we will write our project name and we are good to create our first project so now we are here so it will create the project in this folder only so be sure where you want to create the project it will create the project in the same place where you are so i will paste this create react app and after that we need to write our project name so i will write this as first project okay and i will type enter it will also take time so i will speed up this you know the drill okay so this is asking me to uh, like not write that capital later so i will uh, do this. I think now we are good to go. So we can't use capital letter in our uh, app name. Okay, so. Uh, let me show you what's going on actually okay so we will go where we are so here it's creating a project so you, i will like see this project like first project is also already created so it will add on folder here so i will show you how to do other things like it's not done yet i will like it's still installing all these things but like uh, why to waste the time i will show you how to, what to do next so after everything installed here or not installed here you just click again the git pass like we need to open git pass again so i will type git pass here okay and i will write like suppose i need to open vs code actually so we can open vs code directly like i will type i will search for vs code here and i can open that okay so some other project opens here so i will click on this file i will uh, ask for open folder and i will select that project okay but i need to open the like i don't know like i have to choose folder and all and all so that's why i have installed that git bash so it will make our life easier it will directly open this project so just close this vs code and what we need to do is like we have we need to open this uh, folder okay and i will just write cod code space dot and it will open the VS code. And the same folder. Okay. So see this package.json was there and package.json is here. So now let me show you what's going on actually. This is a getting started phase. You can if you want you can turn that off. It so it, it won't come again and again after you open the project. So I will turn this off. So welcome page and just cross this. Now this have already created a file here. So you see only three lines are here, but it will eventually uh, installing all those lines. It will write all those lines here. So let me show you that what's going on. So let me put it in left side and that in right side. And you can see that what's going on actually. So you will see it will create some folder. It will add some files here. So that's it i just want to show you what's going on i will speed up this process now just keep an eye on these two side what's going on okay
okay so as you can see most of my packages have installed it's still installing uh, something but like most of them i have already installed so you can see uh, name everything is here and i will i will show you what's all these these things are so it's you see like it's still still adding some things here i will show you everything don't worry about that like i know first time doing nothing and seeing so many codes here it's make me think like uh, it's make like newbie things like what's going on how to understand all this but it's very simple most of them you don't need to touch like first one is this node module we don't need to touch this node module ever okay even pro don't touch it okay so everything you have installed happy hacking it's so me suppose we have in this folder only so what i will do is i will go to the next folder because we, our project is created first project so i will type cd and first project and to start this i will type npm start so it's showing me what to do but we don't need to do this so let me make this full screen now okay so i will show you i will tell you what all these things so our project like, like our app name is here so don't confuse with app and web both are same in in the case of react we say every website as an app so first thing i will do is i will change the name so you can change everything so i will change the name package.json i will put it learn again it's showing me we can't make it capital learn with react okay now what is the version I, I can change that also no problem private that's true and some script like i need to what the scripts are there so i can type npm start is basically run this now what is this node.js is node.js mean basically means dependency so suppose whenever we share the app we never share this node module okay we share this just everything else other than node module so how the person will know what's all module we have used so these different dependency will know this we just need to type npm install and it will install all these node module whatever they are written in this dependent dependency sorry for mispronunciation now we need to start a terminal so again we can use this git bash con remote but we will use this uh, terminal in this vs code so uh, just press uh, command or control and tilde sign tilde is just uh, below your escape key uh, and it will open this terminal now to run the project we just need to write npm start so i will run that and i will show you what else we have in this so npm start will start the server now public also we don't touch because it's basically create whatever we do in src so our most of the work is done in src okay we don't touch this public and all it's just like whatever we install it's come here and whatever we do that go there okay it's running local s3000 so we do everything in src okay first one logo will run i will show you yeah it's running now let me show you what is so this is what we got pre default okay that logo you see this is the logo now it's tell you edit src slash app.js okay so what we will do is go to src and app.js and we will change something so in this whatever line we have written here i will type learn with it okay just remove this everything here i will write learn with vivek or you can write hello world no problem in that also just save it and yeah boom it's done here okay learn react so in the next video we will change everything we will create a new project okay so we will make basically a to-do app i think yeah to-do app after that we will make a weather app by calling some api public api okay so we are done for this video i will see you in the next one bye bye